Hi everyone, hopefully your tomatoes are producing and doing wonderful. But if you have some questions, hopefully this will explain them. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is if your plant is nice and healthy and there's flowers, but it doesn't seem to be setting fruit. Here is a few things to consider. Is it a large fruiting variety? And is it an heirloom? Remember, those tend to set, can scent, uh, set less fruit than a hybrid that's meant to produce and pump out a whole bunch and of course cherry tomatoes. So keep that in mind. Um, something else you can do if you have flowers and no fruit is to hand pollinate. They are self-pollinating. Each flower has both male and female parts so they could self-pollinate. The majority of them are pollinated by wind but a lot of bees also pollinate them. They do need to be buzzed when a pollinator goes to them. So things you could do is simply shake the plant, shake the cage. You could take an electric toothbrush and put it right up by the flower. You could even buy one of these handy dandy little uh, uh, pollinating wands that you place right by the flower and buzz it and that drops the pollen down onto the female part. But generally just shaking it will help. Also, Make sure you're not fertilizing too much with nitrogen. You know, nitrogen should get your plant to a nice, big, healthy green plant, but then you want to taper off and allow the plant to set, to set fruit. You could also taper off the watering, stress the plant a little bit, because remember, if a plant is stressed, it's thinking, uh oh, I better set seed now, so it can help it produce uh, fruit. All right, so now if you have tomatoes, but they're just not turning red and they're sitting there and sitting there. So if you read online, it says, oh, if temperatures are above 90. Well, living in the Central Valley of California, it's always 90 degrees above. And guess what? We are a big tomato growing region and they do turn red. So it's not necessarily true that it's the temperatures. Once again, taper back the watering, stress them a little bit, allow the sugars to go into the plant and hopefully it'll ripen them. Only taper back the watering if when you dig down, there is moisture already in the soil. You don't want to taper back if your plant is stressed for water already. All right, a few other things. So um, blossom end rot is a big problem. I have a whole video on it. So all I'm going to say is this is what it looks like. The end is it has a big brown blotch. And generally, your second set of tomatoes don't show it because remember it's not the lack of calcium it's generally the plant's ability to utilize that calcium all right what about cat facing it looks a little strange perfectly fine to eat a lot of heirlooms have it uh, it could be caused by genetics it could be caused by incomplete pollination it could be caused by damage even from uh, just environmental damage or bug damage but generally it's i find it's more genetic and it's on the heirlooms more and it looks a little strange it looks like i wouldn't say it looks like a cat face if my cats look like that i probably wouldn't have cats um zippering where you have this bizarre scarring what happens there is the anther will stick or even any part of the flower really will stick to the side of the fruit as it's developing and as it's developing it's creating this scar it looks like a zipper once again perfectly fine to eat and isn't really show you know your doesn't say your plant is diseased at all it's just sort of a um what happens when that part sticks to the the tomato and um you may have some speckling the speckling could be a piercing insect like a stink bug, but generally you would see them. Uh, a leaf-footed bug, keep a bucket of soapy water. If you see them, hand pick them off, drown them in that soapy water because they can disfigure your tomatoes. Um, sunburn, yes, tomatoes will sunburn, especially obviously if they're exposed to the sun. Usually that's you'll see this brown sort of leathery spot on the side that is getting probably the western or south sun. So try to tuck them underneath. Hopefully your plants are nice and big so you don't have sunburn, but once again, completely um, fine to eat. So those are some of the uh, major problems or strangeness that your fruit may have. So hopefully that helps you. So until next time, thanks.